Hi artists, I'm going to show you how you can create a sculpture using recycled materials. Here are the materials you'll use. You'll need some recycled materials like toilet paper rolls, an egg carton, plastic bottle caps, wine corks, a big piece of cardboard for a base, and small little boxes from pharmacy products, for example soap or toothpaste. You will also need paint, brushes, scissors, liquid glue, and tape. Let's begin! Number one, make a plan. Put the large piece of cardboard on the table. This is going to be your base. This is the time when you play around with the recycled materials and you try to make a plan and try to figure out how you can create the sculpture. You are not gluing anything right now, you are just switching materials from one side to the other, trying to come up with something interesting and think about which ones, uh, which objects are stronger to go at the bottom, which ones can go at the top and just play around with the materials until you find something that you like. Number two, paint your pieces. You can start with the bigger piece, which is the base, the cardboard base, and then move on to the smaller pieces. Think about what colors you like and how you can make your sculpture unique. Make sure that when you switch colors, you clean the brush. That way you won't mix the paint. This part is a lot of fun, but it can get a little bit messy. Make sure that you have paper towels to wipe yourselves, wipe your brushes or your table. Feel free to use the scissors to cut out any of the materials. For example, I use my scissors here to cut out the egg carton and use that middle part as one of my pieces. I want to show you how you can attach the toilet paper rolls onto the base. You need to create tabs and you will use your scissors to make little cuts at the bottom of the roll, like so. Then you're going to flip them up or turn them up, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. I think I have eight tabs. So when you fold those tabs up, you will put glue at the bottom or below the tabs and then attach the roll onto that base, making sure you hold for a few seconds, okay? Otherwise it will not stay. Number three, glue your pieces. Start by gluing the bigger pieces that go attached to the base and then move on to the smaller pieces. Every time you use glue and you place a piece down, make sure you hold it for a few seconds. You can even count to 5 or to 10 while holding the piece. Then finally, just let the glue dry for a few hours and your sculpture will be done. Remember, a sculpture is art that you can see from every side. So when you are making your sculpture, I want you to think about what details you can include to make your sculpture really, really interesting from every side. Um, that's it, I will see you in class.